most of what. Today I'll be discussing how to configure permissions, roles, and security realms within Fusion. I'll be giving a quick overview on uh, Fusion within security, and then how to configure Fusion permissions, group roles, and realms. Here's an overview of Fusion security. Fusion provides a security framework to protect your data, which is located in Solar. It also provides um, specific access to uh, the API calls and UI calls. So Fusion permissions are act the actual individual API functionality. So the API uses HTTP methods such as get, post, and put. Here we have some examples of, of uh, specific permissions. In the first example, um, we give access to a specific query pipeline called my pipeline and to a specific collection called my collections and we allow um, any type of request handler to be called such as select and update. In the second example, we give specific permissions to query pipelines called my pipeline and we allow it to be called with using any collection but only specifying the select request handler. Fusion roles. So fusion, fusion roles are buckets, are considered buckets of uh, API and UI uh, permissions. There are four predefined roles, which are the admin, uh, collection admin, search, and UI users. A fusion realm can be defined as, uh, as a connection to your specific um, pre-existing security interface such as Active Directory. It will use the, the users within Active Directory uh, or an LDAP and it will find the users uh, and allow access into the Fusion API and UI. In today's demo, I'll be discussing how to configure Fusion with an existing Active Directory. Here is a quick, quick overview of the steps involved. Um, once, your, once your Realm is configured, users will be able to log to use their login details, which will be their Active Directory username and password. Um, that will be passed into Fusion, which will do a call to Active Directory and uh, bind the request with the password and uh, authenticate and Active Directory will give a positive or negative response uh, to the credentials provided. I'm going to go ahead and start the demo. So let's log into Fusion as the admin. I'm going to choose a native realm. So here in my example, I have two collections. I have a web collection and a confidential collection. I'd like to create a role which will give users access only to the uh, web collection. So if I go under Applications, Access Controls, and under Roles, I'll go ahead and click Add Role. I'll just say Web Collection Users. There we go. Add role. And here as well to find the permission strings needed to, to grant read, at, read only access to the web collection. So here I have my list of connection strings. If you'd like more information on these, on how to configure these strings, please visit uh, support.lucidworks.com and visit our knowledge base. So I'm going to go ahead and allow limited uh, UI access. So I want access to collections, uh, the search UI, and, and our query pipeline and profiles. 
So I went ahead and saved uh, my roles. As you can see here, my, this is my new role. Um, before I configure the security realm, let's just, uh, let's just do a quick overview on, um, on my AD environment. So in my AD environment, I have a top-level directory called uh, robert.local. It contains uh, a bucket of users and two groups, engineering and marketing. Within, within each group, uh, I have users defined. I have only Joe uh, in our engineering group and Mary in our marketing group. Let's go ahead and configure our LDAP realm. I click Add Security Realm. My LDAP realm. I'm going to give it type LDAP. I'm not going to actually. Um, I'm not going to configure, define um, realm-specific <coughs> roles, because actually I want to leverage the groups, engineering and marketing, and I want to give them separate. Uh, separate uh, permission levels, so I'm going to assign them different roles. Here you provide the LDAP connection details. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the host. I'm going to use the unsecured port, port 389. Let's get the super user for now. Um, here's the most important uh, part. We're going to Choose the type of authentication method. So bind uh, will actually use the login user for Fusion and do an LDAP lookup. Um, normally, uh, individual users don't have um, don't have access to to do perform searches on LDAP. So um, that's where we have that's where we're going to use search. Uh, where we define a super user to actually perform uh, the lookups. So if you're, un if you're unsure on what your base DN is, you can always do a query uh, in your LDAP. And in my example, um, I did a query on the admin user, Lucidworks, and I get this string, which I'm going to use to uh, as my super user. So I give the whole string. I provide the password. Authentication method search. So the search base uh, DN for the entire um, for LDAP, uh, it's usually the root, uh, the root of the LDAP directory. In my case, uh, it's the domain, robert.local. So I'm going to go ahead and use part of this string that defines my base DM. The filter template, I'm actually going to try to search. Uh, I'm going to search the whole directory for users. So I'm going to provide it uh, this filter, which will uh, select only um, type users. And here's where I actually bind the account name uh, with the user details entered in the UI. So these curly braces will be replaced by the actual username. Here as we get to the group and role mapping, I'd like to, it's asking for uh, the base DM for the group. In my case, the groups and users are in the same domain. So I'm going to go ahead and use the same base DM. Um, I'm going to be searching um, through the common name attribute. Here's where I specify a group search filter template. So this is a filter. Well, here I define um, to see who's a member of the object class group. And here's where I will define the individual group mappings. So it says key value pairs of LDAP group names with fusion role names. So I have uh, two LDAP groups. One is engineering. Uh, I'm going to make the engineering group admin. <clears throat> Next group is marketing. 
And actually, I'm going to provide them with the um, our web web collection group users. There we go. Let's go ahead and save that. Now our Realm is configured. Let me go ahead and log out and actually test um, both user groups. So let's uh, Let's log in as a marketing user. So we have one marketing user, Mary. I'm going to go ahead and select my LDAP realm. Oh. And here we see a different, uh, a different view. Because Mary is part of the marketing group, she only has access to the, uh, this web collection. I'm going to go ahead and log out. Um, let me uh, enter as uh, an en as an engineering user. We have Joe. I'm going to select my LDAP realm again, and as you can see, that Joe is an admin role and is thus able to view uh, the entirety of Fusion. Here we can see uh, the users that were created. I hope you found this demo helpful. Um, we will be um, publishing more demos um, in the coming weeks. Thank you for your time.